Okay, here's our big larynx model. Here's your hyoid bone way up here. Thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, thyrohyoid membrane, thyroid gland, cricothyroid muscle, cricothyroid membrane. Here's the rings of your uh, trachea. Turn it around to the back. Thyroid gland, there's your parathyroid glands. Here is that trachealis muscle running down the back. So you can see that it's flat back here. This is the cricoid cartilage, thyroid cartilage, hyoid bone. This is your corniculate cartilage right here on the tip. And this large portion is your retinoid cartilage. Look down inside of there, you can see your epiglottis and your vocal folds right here. Now we'll look at the other one. <laughs> Same basic idea, just a little different. This is thyroid, I mean hyoid bone, epiglottis right at the back there. This is a muscle, so this is thyrohyoid muscle. Here's your laryngeal prominence right here cricoid cartilage, cricothyroid membrane, cricothyroid muscle, C-shaped rings of your trachea, a retinoid cartilage is just a little beak of the eagle there, just this little part, and this is all, I'm sorry, this is your corniculate cartilage, the little one, and this is all a retinoid, this large part. And then on this one, you can see the vocal folds here. You can also see the trachealis muscle. So your esophagus would lay right there. Okay, this one right here is pretty simple. This is your um, terminal bronchus. You can see it still has cartilage on it, so that's why it's called a bronchus. Here's your pulmonary vein taking oxygenated blood back, pulmonary artery bringing deoxygenated blood in. These are all alveoli, and you can see the capillary beds around them. This is showing you an alveolar duct surrounded by individual alveoli air sacs. This right here, where you still have the smooth muscle, is going to be that respiratory bronchiole. That's what you can see here. And you can even see those alveolar ducts kind of coming this way with little alveoli coming off of them. So that one's pretty simple, not too much to it. Alrighty, one more. This is the left lung, right lung, apex, apex, cardiac notch, lingula, horizontal fissure, so upper and middle lobe, upper lobe here, lower lobe here with an oblique fissure. Right lower lobe here with an oblique fissure. Here's your diaphragm. Oh, this is all diaphragm here. Okay. And of course, here's the heart, right atrium, right auricle, marginal artery, right coronary, small cardiac vein, ascending aorta, aortic arch, superior vena cava, left and right brachiocephalic vein, Apex of the heart, here's your fibrous pericardium. This right here is your ligamentum arteriosum, so this is pulmonary trunk. This is your left pulmonary artery, left atrium, anterior interventricular artery with great cardiac vein. You can see descending aorta here. You can see left pulmonary veins, circumflex artery, coronary sinus, central tendon of the diaphragm. I'll show you the lungs in a second. If I can get it off, okay. More central tendon here. Right coronary, uh, I'm sorry, right pulmonary veins right pulmonary artery. This is your superior vena cava. This is your azygous vein coming up and into superior vena cava. Inferior vena cava coming through the cable hiatus. 
This would be brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. Okay, make sure you pay attention to that azygous there because you can see that on lots of these heart models. Uh, you can also see esophageal hiatus here. And then, of course, aortic hiatus, descending aorta. If we look at these lungs, you can see the root here. So this is our right lung because we've got three lobes. So upper, middle, lower lobe. Here's the base, flat part. Here's the apex. This is the right primary bronchus, right pulmonary artery, right pulmonary veins. This is our left lung. You can see your cardiac notch here and your lingula. Not very pronounced, but still is a lingula. <coughs> Here's your root. This would be your left pulmonary artery, left pulmonary veins, and left primary bronchus, base apex.